Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, January 27th, 2018, and I'm here at one of my local ponds, and to my surprise and delight, we got some open water. Some of the ice is gone. As you can see, if you look up that way, there's still some ice on the pond, but there is some open water here. So I'm going to start chucking some lures around and see if I can't get on some kind of early season bite. I'm going to start out with this little tiny crankbait. I know in the cold water like this, sometimes fish are keyed in on smaller baits. Um, I've got a, a short floral leader on just in case I run into a pickerel so I can prevent bite offs. So here we go. Let's see if we can't make something happen here in the first open water on my local ponds. We had a pretty substantial breeze today. Thankfully, air temps are in the 50s, so even with the breeze, it's still pretty comfortable out here. I don't know what this breeze is going to do to the bite. Hopefully, it helps it instead of hurts it. There's a fish. Well, he knocked the crap out of it. For a fish in cold water, he really, really hit it hard. Little largemouth. All right. Easy, buddy. Not a bad way to start. Whew, man, he is ice cold, too. All right, there we go. The ice has been broken in more ways than one. There's a fish. Super light hit. That's more what I expect from a winter fish. Little bluegill. Barely felt a little tap tap. Well, it's good. There's fish here. I was a little bit worried since there's still so much ice on the pond. They might still be hunkered down somewhere, but looks like we got action. There we go. Fish. Another super duper light hit. Another little largemouth. Look at that. Look at where he's hooked. Barely hooked on that outside part of the mouth. These fish are barely hitting this thing. There we go. Another fish on. Another bluegill, about the same size as that last one. All right. Well, it's been bass, bluegill, bass, bluegill. Wonder if the pattern will continue. And more importantly, I wonder if these fish will get any bigger. It's been a dink fest so far. Man, I'm missing a ton of fish just because they're hitting so light. By the time I realize there's a fish there, they've already let go of the bait. There's a lot of fish out here. There we go. That one didn't let go. Bluegill. go. Looks like another bluegill. Yep, it is. Still nothing big. I mean, these small ones are great. 
especially considering it's still January but wouldn't mind a nice hand-sized bluegill or maybe a two-pound largemouth just something substantial there we go another bluegill oh there he goes he's asked for bigger fish and they're getting smaller wonder if the fish gods are a fan of reverse psychology I can practically see the ice melting. There's a lot less ice on this pond than when I started. There we go. Well, oh, that was just a little nibble. And no wonder, another bluegill. Action has definitely slowed, but there's still some fish out there. And they're all in that same general area, right out there. All right, guys, the bite has slowed, so I'm switching things up. Going with a one inch gulp minnow on a little jig head worked under a float. I did really well on this last week with the creek chubs, and I know this kind of pattern is very good for bluegills, as well as a bunch of other different kinds of fish. So. I'll give that a shot. And that didn't take long. Boy, that's that's gratifying. When you pick a pattern or you pick a lure and it immediately pays off. It's a beautiful thing. There we go. Just waiting for that float to stand up. Oh, there's a little, little dinker right here. I'm tempted to use this for bait. Maybe catch a big bass or pickerel out of here. Another time, perhaps. Oh, there we go. I just saw the bobber start moving. Another little bluegill. Wonder where the big ones are. I know there's big bluegill in here. I've caught them before. There we go. Feels like another little one. Yep, it is. Another bait sized bluegill. All right, all right, not bad, not too bad, certainly bigger than what I've been getting. lost count of how many of these things I've caught which means I'm having a pretty good day there we go had to let him eat it for a little while ah oh, no wonder probably couldn't even fit the thing in his mouth You know what? There's nothing but tiny bluegill left in this part of the pond. I think I'm going to make a move. 
I know you're not supposed to leave fish to find fish, but I'm only leaving tiny fish. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Here we go. Fish on. All right. So not only did I switch spots, but I switched up lures. If I can get out of the tree here. Switched to a little floating Rapala and caught this pickerel specimen. It's got it pretty far down in there. I hope I can get it out okay. Oh wow, he's got it really down in there. Let me get a look. Okay. Alright, well getting the hook out was not easy. I had to back it out through the gills. Uh, not a lot of blood, which is a good sign. So hopefully he'll be alright. mouth. Hey, he's barely bigger than the bait. Look at that. He's maybe twice the size. Well, a catch is a catch. I'm not going to complain. Alright, well, I have hit just about every patch of open water that I could find in this place. Didn't do too bad today. Got a few small bass, a pickerel, and a dozen or so bluegill. And you know what? On any given day, that might not be so impressive. But it's the middle of January. This is the nicest weekend we've had all year. The ice is melting. There's fish biting. I gotta tell you, I'm one happy guy right now. So thank you all so much for joining me today. And I will see you on the next adventure.